is the 4th of March 2020, which is the 20th anniversary of the PlayStation 2, which had a big part of my childhood. Let's begin. Uh, Ape Escape 3. Uh, this is a really good game. I don't have Ape Escape 2 or 1, but this is probably the game I've played the most in my childhood. Crash of the Titans. Uh, this game isn't... This game isn't very good, but I played it a lot because it was Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Crash to Insanity. This is the first game I got on the PlayStation 2. It's kind of a bad game. It has good music, but it, it, the game's like incomplete, but I still like it. Crazy Chicken X. This game is absolute fucking dog shit. I hated it. I never want to play this game again. Dragon Ball Z 2 and Dragon Ball Z 3. Because fuck Dragon Ball Z 1. Family Guy the video game. <laughs> FIFA Street 2. I don't know why I own this. I don't like football. Um, I don't even really remember playing it. It just kind of exists in my home. Over the Hedge, the video game. Uh, this is actually much better than what um, video game adaptations of movies are. This is actually a very decent game. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not joking, it's actually good. God, I hate that turtle. Power Rangers Super Legends. Uh, I don't remember playing this at all. Um, I was like uh, I was like 10, I probably grew out of Power Rangers. I don't know why I own this again. It just exists. Um, yeah. Scooby-Doo Unmasked. This game looks really childish, but it was actually really decent. Like they put like a lot of thought and effort into this game for some for like for like a fucking Scooby for a Scooby-Doo game, and it's it's like on par with Over the Hedge. Uh, Sly Raccoon, Sly Raccoon Two, Band of Thieves, and Sly Raccoon Three: Honor Among Thieves. These are easily three of the best games for the PlayStation Two. No contest. These games. Are fantastic. There's a movie coming out. It looks awful. So you should just fucking throw it in the bin. I don't know what they were thinking. Super Monkey Ball Adventure. This is like the third monkey game I own for some reason. Uh, this looks like a, a Japanese kid's nightmare. Like, like, like it's like the title is like weirdly translated as well. Like Super Super Monkey Ball Adventure. Like, like it doesn't even sound correct. And it's like your monkey. In a plastic ball, and that's like torturous. <laughs> like he doesn't have an air. He doesn't have a fucking air hole. <laughs> and he's like, I think there's a part of the game where he just fucking suffocates. Attack and the Great Juju Challenge. This is like a really fantastic game for the PlayStation Two. It's got a great uh, like art style, and it's like really challenging as well, which was rare for um, for the games I had anyway. So I really like that about it. It was a really fun and challenging game even though it was like you could beat it in like two hours. Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. This is another fantastic game. Uh, it's got like real music in it so it's got like this inbuilt radio and um, yeah so and you could like go off a roof and like break the guy's neck but he'd survive and then get like assaulted by like street thugs and survive and uh, it's about skateboarding and uh, uh, I didn't even skateboard as a kid and I, I fucking wanted to skateboard after playing this game. I wanted to be Tony Hawk. I wanted to go to Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. I wanted to I wanted to meet my hero, but you know, it's it's a video game, it's not real, so I'm stuck in that fucking plastic ball and monkey ball. Thank you, PlayStation 2, for all the memories.